you welcome to the review of the open heavens daily devotional today we are looking at a topic that says the holy ghost baptism and power the holy ghost baptism and power it's the 4th of february 2024 and we will be delving into the topic just after we pray our father we worship you we thank you for life thank you for saving our souls and thank you for the holy ghost baptism and power that follows it we pray that you teach us yourself today and let your name be glorified that indeed your power will manifest through us and in all that we do in jesus name amen you're welcome once again we're looking at the topic that says the holy ghost baptism and power our bible reading is taken from the book of acts acts chapter 3 we'll be reading verses 1 to 8 and our memory verse is drawn from the 8th verse of the scripture, Acts 3, 1 to 8. And I'll be reading from the New King James Version. Now Peter and John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. And a certain man came from his mother's womb. A certain man lame from his mother's, from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful, to ask alms from those who entered the temple, who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked for alms, and fixing his eyes on him with John, Peter said, Look at us. So he gave them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold I do not have, but what I have, what I do have, I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up and walk and he took him by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength so he leaping up stood and walked and entered the temple with them walking leaping and praising god and the lord bless the reading and hearing of his word in jesus name and i have the leading to to speak into your life to say that whatever is lame and dead in your lives even as you're listening to the word of god I declare that they come alive and the Lord resurrects them in Jesus' name. And you will testify to this miracle happening in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know, Father and Lord started this note to us today saying that you will note that our Bible reading started with the word now. And it says now, Peter and John. So now referring, and this indicates that there's, there's a reference to something that had happened you know earlier and then this followed so what happened earlier that's acts chapter 2 and that's at the point of the holy ghost baptism of the disciples and you know it was recorded in acts 2 that they were filled with the holy ghost they were filled with the holy ghost so the result of them being filled with the holy ghost was for them to become witnesses for christ and not just witnesses they then began to do great and powerful walks through the holy spirit and that's an example that we just read in this bible reading today now when you get baptized in the holy ghost you carry divine power within you you have power to walk miracles heal the sick and even raise the dead unfortunately many christians after they get baptized in the holy spirit all they have to show is just to speak in tongues. Yes, the disciples began to speak in tongues after they were baptized in the Holy Spirit and were filled with the Holy Spirit in Acts 2. But they went further. They became witnesses. There were souls were saved. And then they went further in chapter 3 that we've seen. And then they performed this great miracle, of course, through the power of the Holy Spirit. And because we've been promised in Acts 1 8 that we shall receive power after the Holy Spirit comes on to us. And by then, that's when we then become witnesses unto the Lord, even unto the uttermost part of the earth, from starting from where you are to the uttermost part of the earth. And Father and Lord shared a story, you know, about himself, you know, how uh, after being baptized by the Holy Spirit, he kept asking God for power and God had to tell him to keep quiet, man. Um, what does Acts 1, 8 say? And, you know, and he recited it. It's a memory verse today. You know, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you shall receive power. And he says, "So how come you're asking me for more power? What have you done with the one you received already?" And 
after this incident, you know, the following day, a sick child was brought, brought to him and he was afraid, but he laid his hands on the child and prayed and the child slept off. He was worried. He thought, ah, the child died. And the mother said, you know what? I know my child is healed because she, this child hasn't slept for a long period of time. You know, and that bolstered the faith of our Father in the Lord. And he's been laying hands on, on the sick ever since. And we, we know, I mean, there have been tremendous testimonies of miraculous happenings when he lays hands on people. And this is not just a, a just for the general Vasia alone, that's Pastor Enoch Adejai Adeboe. Not just for him alone, it is for every child of God that has been baptized, you know, in the Holy Spirit. You know, I, I, I recall myself at a point where you know, there was a lady that was manifesting the spirit of madness and the Holy Spirit, you know, around the area, around my office. And I recall the Holy Spirit asking me, saying, if Jesus was here, what would we do? I said, Jesus will go and deliver the, 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 <laughs> the lady. And, you know, the Holy Spirit says, so what is, why can't you not go? Are you a witness of the Lord Jesus Christ? I didn't want to go. I mean, I, was, I went to, it was a place of work for me. But you know, I got encouraged and I went and it was surprising even to me as a child of God, it was surprising how easy it was for the spirit to be cast out. The moment I got there and the lady that was manifesting, the moment she raised her eyes and saw me, she bowed her head immediately. And I said the simple word, evil spirit, I covered us with the blood of Jesus, evil spirit depart from my Jesus name. And guess what? Someone who had been fighting everyone who had been so, you know, so you know, so so angry and wild and men were trying to hold her down. She slept off right at that spot. She slept off right at that spot and I asked afterwards, they said she, she didn't wake up for a long time. By the time she woke up, she didn't even remember she was manifesting madness. And she had given, and afterwards, of course, I did lead her to Christ and her husband, praise the Lord. And that, to me, is just one of these many experiences that tells us what the power of the Holy Spirit can do within us. Now, our Father Lord was saying he wasn't feeling powerful. That's why he kept asking God for power. And the Lord asked him and said, did I say that the just shall live by feelings? No, the just shall live by faith, not by feelings. So the moment you've given your life to Jesus Christ, you surrender to him, you are reborn in God and then you receive the Holy Spirit. And then the moment you are then baptized by the Holy Spirit, when you're filled completely with him and you have the evidence of speaking in tongues then you know as well that you can rough miracles through the power of the holy spirit don't be afraid you once you know you've been baptized with the holy spirit you have power that's the promise of the lord from the scriptures so go out there and use the power that you've received from the baptism of the holy spirit the more you use it the more you will get even the more it would manifest more in your life. But if you fail to use it, it will just lie dormant. It will lie dormant. Then I want to encourage you: if you've not given your life to Jesus Christ, we can't even begin to talk about you then manifesting the power of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit will not walk in an unclean vessel. So what I'll encourage you to do would be to just share these words of prayer with me and say, Father. Forgive my trespasses. I do not want to be a sinner anymore. Confess the sins and then say, I confess Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I confess that he's your son and he died for my sins. Wash me with his blood in Jesus' name. Amen. If you've said that prayer, I'm saying to you, congratulations. You've been born again into the family of God and you've received the Holy Spirit. Go to a Bible-believing church and when you're baptized with the Holy Spirit, you received power and you will be able to do mighty works as well, just like every children of God, God, God expects us to do. Thank you for listening. And I'll leave us with this keynote that says, if you have received the Holy Ghost baptism with the evidence of speaking in tongues, begin to use that power God has given unto you. God bless you.